Mike, what were I thinking? Oh, he was incredible, Steve. Like, pure class. Where did you find him? Brad? Yes, what a maverick. What a man. Hey, Brad! What? Wait, is this where he sat? Yeah. He weren't that bloody good. No, he was, Steve. He was. He was so... Yeah, I don't know. He was like... He was like liquid. Brad, please! Huh? What? That used to be me. You used to be Bramble? Oh, how could I be bloody Brambo? Brambo! It's not even his real name! I used to be a reverent one. I used to be cool DJ. And now look. He's just turned up and well. I'm like old man. In shadows. Well, you're so cool, Steve. I think that shirt's pretty cool. But he was hilarious when he did the impression of the guy falling off the life support machine. <laughs> Brad, you are not making this any better. No, 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 you're right. I mean, not everyone loved him. The OP ward was howling about how bad he was. They were crying out in pain from surgery, Brad. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, listen. Ebenezer had to get up and move on, and I don't know. Maybe it's time for you to do the same. Call it a day. Come on, he was on a high. Last year was brilliant. You had everybody in stitches. I mean, you actually broke a few stitches. <laughs> Last year were a good year. But I've still got it in me, Brad. Steve Starkey does not give up. Do you know what I said before I started here? I said that I would DJ like Michelangelo painted pictures. I'd mix records like Shakespeare wrote poetry and Gary Barlow composed music. I've given my life to it, Brad. And I'm not going to give it up now. Not to some jumped up git. Yeah, but that was then. And this is now. He is the now. He is the now? He is the now? Oh, what do you know? You're just bloody cleaner. Yeah, and your best friend. So don't forget that. Brad. Brad, please. Oh, well. Looks like it could just be me and you soon. Not that'd be a bad thing, of course. Yesterday's show was electric, Starsky! It's Steve. It felt awesome. Yep. I hope you didn't mind me, uh, you know, spearheading it. I just felt like Terry Wogan reincarnate. He's not dead. Whatever. Here, I got these t-shirts for us. Kinda like a uniform, but they're all the rage. I used to wear them at Wally. It's Wally. Anyway, gotta shoot off. Fans, nightmare. Said I'd do a signing before the show, didn't I? Schoolboy error. Oh, and uh, Starsky. Steve. It's Steve. My name is Steve. Right. 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 Starsky, this radio malarkey is great fun. Toots. Toots. Prick. Look. He 
he signed my bucket. Oh, brat. Seriously? What are you wearing? Oh, Rambo got it for us. Do you like it? It's okay. What is Wally Precinct oh. Radio? It's Wally! Oh, never bloody mind. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Why are you so head over heels for this, this douche? Steve, what is wrong with you? The show yesterday was incredible. The Penang Gazette is going crazy. There's a hullabaloo outside. Townsfolk are going mental. It's like Big Boots McGee all over again. People are literally injuring themselves just to get inside Barley Hospital. This morning I saw a guy go through a newsagent's window. Come on, you know the guy's a genius. You don't understand. You never do. I built this radio show. I made it. I did billboards. I, I helped with political campaigns. I opened wards. I even got you a stupid bloody job. I can't disappear. You haven't disappeared. I have. No, you haven't. I'm the cleaner. I'm the nobody doing a nobody's job. I'm hidden. No, oh, whatever. Everything okay, chaps? Oh, hey, Brambo. Uh, thank you for signing my bucket. <laughs> Retweet. Bye, Steve. Those fans are nuts. I even signed a few bras. The average age of patience in this place is 60. Never too old, Steve. Those rambunctious old fogies, wow. Oh, and a few are saying that the production of the show is top quality. Really? No, I made that up. But I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Yeah, whatever. So come on then, genius. What you got planned for us today then? Well. And with a deep pang of regret, that is it from Starks and Me for today. But we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Some of you look like you're on your last legs. If so, see you on the other side. Toots. Right, bro. I'm going to get some practice in for tomorrow's Shakespeare medley. My liege, I am advised what I say. Neither disturbed with the effect of wine, nor heady rash provoked with raging. Aya! Albeit my wrongs may make one wiser mad. This woman... Locked me out this day from dinner. They say this Angelo was not made by man and woman after the uh, downright way of creation. Some reporter sea maid spawned him. <laughs> Some that he was begot between two stockfishes. Death is a fearful thing. To die and go we know not where. To lie in cold obstruction and to rot. Great mixing today. Had an epic feel to it, brah. Epic. Toots. Nah, Toots. Have the goodbye, Brambo. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Bali Hospital Radio. Yes. No, this is not him. Yes. Yes, I will. No, I don't know whether he's got a girlfriend. Aye, I will, yes. Thank you. Come in. Hello. Oh, hello. Are you lost? No. Well, you can come in, you know. Please, Mr. Stephen, can I have your autograph, please? 
Ah, of course you can. So, what's your name? Reginald. Right. Dear Reggie. No, no, no. Reginald. Ah, Reginald. So, Reginald, what are you in this joint for? I need your autograph. Yes, I know, but why are you in hospital? I was told. You were told? I was told. What do you mean you were bloody told? I was told. The cleaner put you up to this? He's a cleaner. Oh. I, I'm sorry, Stephen. I thought if you could see that people like you, and you're actually quite famous now, you might cheer up and, you know, work with Bramble like a proper team. You didn't tell me you were a cleaner. Yeah, well, you told me you could do this, and so that's, yeah, that's fine, Reg. Thank you. Where's my clothes? They're, I don't know, the nurse has them or something. Where's my autograph? Old geezer's uh, lost his mind. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, Steve. You didn't have to do that, Brad. Yeah, I know, I know. Come on, let's hug it out. Why is he better than me? I mean, you don't have to look left and right. I mean, someone's always going to be better than you. So just chill out, yeah? This doesn't suit you. You've seasoned, that's all. You've ripened. You've moved upstairs to the producer's lounge, and you're amazing. He's amazing. It's just... It's just hard to accept, you know? Yeah, I know, I know. Come on. Look, I'm sorry. You're, you're not hidden from me. Pub? Um... Aye, come on, then. You know, it's your round. It's not my round, it's your round, badger boy. What is it with you and badgers? I don't know, they're cool animals, okay? They're surprisingly aggressive, and they're good for the garden. Good for garden? Yeah, they eat bees, and then bees aren't in the garden. It's a good thing. They eat bees, badgers eat bees. Are you really they sure they badgers eat, eat bees? I don't think they do. Bees stocky. Barley Hospital DJ. Oh, I come in, why don't you? Thank you? Hey, listen, I don't walk into your surgery when your elbow's deep in intestines, so what makes you think you can do the same here? Because it would be very irresponsible of you to do that while I'm saving lives. Anyway, look, I just came in to apologise, mate. Uh, just the other day when I came bursting in with a nurse, it was uh, kind of urgent to find somewhere quiet. You must have uh, seen me in a bit and About that, so you should be apologising and all. I was in the middle of a very important meeting with new hospital radio DJ trying to lay down some guidelines, lay down some authority and well quite frankly doctor you come along and piss all over me fireworks. Well as I said mate I'm really really sorry it wasn't intentional it was just you know an easy mistake to make there was nothing on the door to say that we didn't come in it just says no smoking frankly it's a green light to come in. Ah right, well you know what's happened there somebody's had sign away it should say no entry. Well it's fine it won't happen again absolutely fine they're redoing the swing so the whole place is just fair game we're trying to tag every single room except well, the morgue you know. well there are other places you can go the gardens are very nice this time of year Garden, you know? no i'm not really into the whole kind of outdoor sex thing no i like my loving indoors so mm. uh, yeah no I, that's, I just want to come down and just say sorry and uh i uh won't disturb you again thank you for that i appreciate you coming down and apologize I, I don't even know your name you haven't got your bloody name badge on for starters you haven't left that inside somebody have you the love doctor needs no name badge the love doctor. Mm -hmm. Aye, well, as, as long as it doesn't happen again. No, no, mate, it won't. Seriously, it won't. The whole swing, it's fine, as I said. All right, then. Take care of yourself, love Thank doctor. You. Oh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye. bye.